Hello, my name is Jessica Lucas and I am a floral designer. I have been working in the floristry industry for about five or six years um, and recently started up my own company called The Lucas Studio and we specialise in the sort of flower and event design for large scale weddings and uh, events both in the UK and abroad. Um, I learnt my trade through working with some of the best in the industry. Um, I started working with Nikki Tibbles at Wild at Heart, um, where I was, um, yeah, I was lucky enough to be involved in some really exciting projects, including Nikki Hilton's wedding um, and various sort of other, I, sort of I can't really say, type weddings. Um, and then I went to Paul Thomas Flowers, where he's largely known for his royal connections. So I, um, sort of the, the most notable things I did there were the, Queen and Prince Philip's 90th wedding anniversary at Windsor Castle and also Princess Eugenie's wedding at Windsor Castle, which were was some of the best experiences of my life. Um, my daily routine, sort of pre-COVID-19, was that I would go to the flower market in the morning, select all of the bits and pieces that I needed to uh, achieve any of the uh, projects I had going on that day or that week. Um, and then I would be back to the studio for client meetings, proposal writing, lots of sort of creative conversations and discussions and technical conversations and discussions. Um, my role very much involves, is not as not as a florist, my role is to essentially create and design um, and then to pull together a team and who can, who are much more fabulously specialist in their own fields and they will then help me pull together and bring the whole event to life. Um, so yes, yeah, so one of my biggest challenges in my role is probably the, the technical side of things because th that is where there is the most pressure and the most sort of complex health and safety and um, artifact pres preservation, you know, when you're working in old buildings um, and things like that. And um, probably the best example of this is each year um, I've been involved in putting the 26 foot Christmas tree into the Ritz, which is um, no mean feat and it's a it's a wonderful wonderful night uh, after months of preparation a team of 25 go into the Ritz managed by me and we have to get the whole hotel dressed and get this 26 foot tree up in the lobby and uh, fully decorated with 10,000 lights and uh, 2,000 decorations um, and it's it's wonderful the, the the morning after sort of all the guests have gone to bed and they all wake up and the whole hotel has been dressed for Christmas and it's quite special it's it makes the real sort of through the night slog worth it and it yeah it's a it's a wonderful thing that's sort of what makes the job all really worth it um but yeah but it's the it's the the challenges are frequent and constant but it's being a good problem solver and a good communicator and a good um people person that essentially means that i am uh well equipped to deal with all of these different issues as they come up um i learned my trade on the job so I went to Central St. Martins um, and did a degree in curation, which led me, which simultaneously I did working in a um, in a London commercial art gallery, which was where I realized I had a bit of a knack for selling people things they didn't need for quite a bit of money. Um, and I sort of ended up working in the art industry for a little while um, and prioritized my job over my degree um, and ended up working for Damien Hurst, which after a few short months, I realized it wasn't really for me and then sort of gravitated my way into the flower industry. So for me, in my personal situation, I think that going to university isn't essential. I um, found applied learning on the job to be much more uh, beneficial to my uh, future career and everything I wanted to do. Um, and plus the freedom of earning money was something that I massively loved but I did both at the same time so I had the best of both worlds and I think that the main thing that I would the main uh, thing I would take away from my university experience is the amazing group of people that I met while I was there which have now formed my wonderful creative community around me so my friends are fashion photographers graphic designers uh, video editors work in production and advertising as artists ceramicists and all of these things which all feed into my um, into my company and my industry in various ways. And I think that's the best thing um, that I took away from my creative degree. Um, 
So I would always be, I'm, I'm a massive advocate for applied learning and I'm always happy to take on work experience students or anybody that just wants to come and see what it's like working in a very varied workplace. You know, we, we don't sit down very often. We work at a desk, but then we're up and about, we're running around, we're driving a van. Um, and we, you know, it's, it's a really full on hands on role. Um, advice to students right now, uh, it's twofold. First of all, I, find myself on a daily basis utilizing all the skills from various subjects which I always used to dismiss of as I'm never going to need to know trigonometry but yeah I find myself constantly trying to work out you know the the angles of a building to put a flower wall on it or the the weight bearing and the sort of the the physics behind how much weight a certain pole can hold at a certain uh, uh, you know four inches in and I think it's never don't dismiss anything you're learning because it will all come back to you and you'll find that you draw on it in ways you never thought you would so pay attention in everything and the other thing i would say is don't worry about the future follow your feet and you'll naturally gravitate towards what you're meant to be doing as long as you work hard and you believe in yourself you'll find that you'll get there in the end and it might surprise you and it might be you might be like me if you'd have told me when i was at godolphin that i would own a flower company doing events and weddings i would never i would never have believed you i didn't know anything about flowers but i think that's the beauty of the net you know of your 20s just enjoy it and just see where it goes and learn all the lessons the hard ones and the good ones